Hello friends, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of Selectors Hub and Growpath. I have seen many videos and many comments still like people say that we don't recommend uh, Selectors Hub or XPath tool to write uh, Selectors in XPath. We should write our own XPath. Even after like so many webinars and everything, I still feel like uh, when people say that, when trainer says that, uh, we should write our own XPath. Don't you mean that we should uh, we write our own XPath and verify in dev tools, which is not a right platform, which from where you don't get the right information. You feel that you are getting like these many match, then you change that match, uh, then you change your selectors, and then you get the correct match. But unknowingly, you don't know that many a times, most of the times, you you are getting the wrong information, and you are wasting time in creating unique XPath in uh, browser dev tools by doing command F because there you used to get a string match as well. I have prepared a lot of videos there and if you want like I can give you the uh, if any trainers or anyone wants like I can give a one to one uh, session for you on this. But please try to understand the concept that the when you say that we should learn our own XPath we should write our, uh, we should learn to write our own XPath what does that mean that means you are saying that we should write our own xpath because no one write our xpath in uh, like notepad or on pay, pay, pen and pen or paper yes if you get the id or some uh, class unique then directly you can use that kind of selectors in your script copy it from uh, dom and use it but if you are writing xpath without verifying i'm sure you never be using that so where you are verifying that are you verifying it in, on the right place Selectors Hub is not an expert tool like uh, the expert tool which you have seen in the past. It's an expert tool which is uh, which will help you to learn about expert concepts. Like if you see that uh, many people, like if I request you all that those who are watching, please let me know that were you aware about the uh, concept of Shadow DOM selectors? Were you aware that expert doesn't support uh, Shadow DOM? I have did I have done this survey like almost 85% people says that yes they were not aware about uh, this concept that XPath doesn't support Shadow DOM or Shadow DOM doesn't support XPath. So Selectors Hub is a tool like which is helping you to learn the concepts of XPath and DOM elements as well as you write I mean you write your own XPath I won't deny on that that you should not write you should learn about that but you should understand that where to verify that where to write that and how to learn about those things because many times you write a wrong XPath, wrong selectors that you never got to learn from DevTools by verifying it at DevTools and many times you write the right XPath but that gives the wrong information because of that you used to don't uh, from that you didn't get to know that this is a wrong XPath I'm writing and this is a right XPath but still you are getting a zero matching node so there are lots of misconceptions so guys before recommending to your student please understand that what you are recommending them maybe like in past due to lack of innovations these things were not right of course i agree on that that whatever expert tools and what we have learned in the past what we have seen in the past due to lack of innovation i agree on that but now at least before recommending that uh, to your uh, students or in like i used to read a lot of comments and lots of uh, videos i used to keep seeing that so I feel like bad because uh, before uh, we recommend someone that we should understand what we are recommending. Is that the thing, the way we are saying that uh, we should do this way, is that the correct thing? So before recommending to someone, I would really request you, please try to understand the concepts, please try to uh, see the basic things. Yes, in dev tools, command by doing command apps, many times you get the right information, but Trust me, like unknowingly you are you have wasted and you are wasting a lot of time because of wrong information. So please verify your selectors at the right place. Please pass on the right information to your followers, your viewers. Don't misguide them. I would really request you and if you need a one-to-one -one session, I'm more than happy to help you anytime. And I would really request to everyone that pass the right information to your followers, your viewers, your student. Don't misguide them. From the Udemy trainers, like every day, I get a lot of messages from the students that so, uh, this is not uh, working, that is not working. So I would also request all the Udemy trainers that please update your courses with the latest technology and latest tool. If you will like 
your students will keep uh, getting uh, outdated tools they will keep following that and they will misguide and they will waste their time and they will learn wrong things so please help them by updating your courses on to uh, like if you are udemy or youtube or anywhere it's my humble request pass the right information to your students i'm making this video because uh, i have seen like from last couple of months so many students so many viewers has come to me that this is what has been suggested but when we got to know about this concept from you or like whatever videos or from the community they feel bad so please uh, please pass the right information thank you thank you